Thutis is also the name of a follower of Paul of Tarsus, who taught Valentinius. For more information, see Thutis, teacher of Valentinius. Thutis, died c. 46 AD, was a Jewish rebel of the first century AD. Scholars attribute to his name a Greek etymology possibly meant as flowing with water, although with a Hellenist-styled ending. At some point between 44 and 46 AD, Thutis led his followers in a short-lived revolt. The revolt Our principal source for the story is Josephus, who wrote, It came to pass, while Cuspus Fadus was procurator of Judea, that a certain charlatan, whose name was Thutis, persuaded a great part of the people to take their effects with them, and follow him to the Jordan River, for he told them he was a prophet, and that he would, by his own command, divide the river, and afford them an easy passage over it. Many were deluded by his words. However, Fadus did not permit them to make any advantage of his wild attempt, but sent a troop of horsemen out against them. After falling upon them unexpectedly, they slew many of them, and took many of them alive. They also took Thutis alive, cut off his head, and carried it to Jerusalem. Jewish Antiquities 20.97-98 The movement was dispersed, and was never heard of again. Josephus does not provide a number for Thutis followers, but Acts chapter 5 verse 36, if it is referring to the same Thutis see below, reports that they numbered about 400. The Thutis problem The sole reference to Thutis presents a problem of chronology if one assumes the Acts of the Apostles and Josephus are speaking of the same person and Josephus is correct. In Acts, Gamaliel, a member of the Sanhedrin, defends the apostles by referring to Thutis. Men of Israel, be cautious in deciding what to do with these men. Some time ago, Thutis came forward, claiming to be somebody, and a number of men, about 400, joined him. But he was killed and his whole following was broken up and disappeared. After him came Judas the Galilean at the time of the census, he induced some people to revolt under his leadership, but he too perished and his whole following was scattered. Acts chapter 5 verses 36 to 8 Neb. The difficulty is that Gamaliel, speaking before the year 37, is described as referring to the rising of Thutis, linking it to the revolt of Judas of Galilee at the time of the census of Quirinius decades before, in 6 CE. However, Josephus makes clear that the revolt of Thutis took place around 45, which is after Gamaliel is said to have spoken, and long after the time of Judas the Galilean. It has been proposed that the writer of Acts used Josephus as a source, and made a mistake in reading the text, taking a later reference to the execution of the sons of Judas the Galilean. After the rebellion of Thutis is saying that the rebellion of Judas was later, however, it is a minority view as to whether the author of Luke used Josephus. It has also been suggested that the reference in Acts is to a different revolt by another, unknown Thutis, because Josephus states that there were numerous uprisings, saying there were 10,000 disorders, but he gives details on only four and Thutis was not a unique name. According to ancient historian and New Testament scholar Paul Barnett, it seems unlikely that Luke would have made an error about an infamous contemporary. Sources Topic. Flavius Josephus, Jewish Antiquities 20. 97-98 Acts of the Apostles 536 Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. A response to the Thutis problem Jewish Encyclopedia, Thutis